Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Strike Zone. Uh, today is a hot takes Friday version. Number one, um, it seems to me like the season is going very well. We've had a large number of you guys already competing in competitions. What um, is hosted online, whether it's schedules, wildcard, that all seems to be working out okay. Um, it's just a really, really exciting time to, to see everything started and coming to fruition. So, secondly, on my hot takes, um, girls competing on boys' teams. Just more informationally than anything, uh, because I think we have a large number of coaches that haven't competed or uh, coached in any of our other NSA activities. We have an NSA bylaw that allows for girls to compete on boys' teams if and when a girls' team is not offered up in that sport or like sport. So, for example, in, in, in baseball, if you're a school that offers baseball but not softball, a girl could play baseball. In this case, with bowling... Um, if you don't offer a girls bowling team, but you have boys bowling, a girl could then compete on the boys team. Okay, but it's it's got to be held in that way. Let me know if you have questions. This is just, again, more informationally. Third, schedules. I've had a couple questions on schedules. Um, in the NSA office, and according to all of our wildcard sports, once the schedule deadline has been met, in this case for bowling, it was December 3rd, schedules are locked and cannot be added to or edited um, past that deadline. And, and that is mainly because, again, it's a wild card sport. And in bowling, we, just like any of our other sports, we don't want to get in a situation where schools are manipulating their schedule in a way to take advantage of wild card setups. Um, so just a heads up on that. Um, next, we've had our developer here in the office create the opportunity for you to put point fives in as a score. So maybe you have a half point to your score. That should now be read by the, the program when you enter scores. Likewise, if you get in a situation where you have a one ball roll off at the end of a, a, a dual match and it was 10.5 to 10.5 after the, the match, um, if you happen to win it, just put an 11 down, 11 to 10.5. So just a heads up on that. Um, fifth, and, and really sixth, lineup and order talk. A reminder, please continue to use good gamesmanship coaches. Exchange those lineups and orders simultaneously before the next game with your order. Once that exchange happens, that is your lineup in order. It's locked in. You can't med make any more edits and changes. Um, and tied into that, the seventh and final hot take of the day, I've had a few questions regarding rosters. Um, a couple of comments on rosters. Um, really, the intent is to, again, have seven on a, a roster. And I've gotten the question raised, can I make a change to my roster um, during a duel? And the answer is no. Once that first ball is thrown in the duel competition, you know, the rosters are locked. Those seven bowlers are the seven bowlers. Um, remember, you can change your lineup in order in between games. Um, can I make another question? Can I make a change to my roster between uh, two individual duels or during um, two different uh, duel matches within a double duel? Again, held on the same day. And the answer would be yes. Um, the, you know, if you have two duels scheduled in a day, you finish up the first duel and now you're moving into the second duel, you could make a change to your roster. Remember, though, in a tournament, and this is because it's really a tournament is its own series in itself, you can't make a change to your roster after the tournament has begun. What you bowled with for your roster for that first game and qualifying is who you're going to bowl with on that roster for the remainder of the day. Uh, so just a heads up on that. Um, and likewise, with your roster, really the intent is to, once, once that roster is made and you've got the seven names on it, that is also the intended number of people and the specific people you should be practicing with as well. Um, so just a heads up on that. Again, really excited to see where we're at with bowling um, and really excited to get this going. You all have a good weekend and stay safe in this snowstorm.